Okay, here we go. Don't you people hate it when you buy something new from Walmart.com and the item does not match the description? See this right here? See that little switch? This little plus thing is touching right now. Well, anyway, I bought this bicycle from Walmart.com here and it did not come with this little switch on the fork. I'll show you the picture of uh, what the uh, thing looks like on the fork when I soon, as soon as I got the bicycle. See? Flat. There's no switches. It's supposed to look like this one right here. Unfortunately, it did not. I had to spend extra money for it. I had to spend like uh, $380 for a new fork that looks like this one right here with this arrow is pointing to. But anyway, uh, that's not the point. The point is uh, I don't get a full refund. Only 20% of the refund which I paid for this bicycle. And here's the seller that actually sold me the bicycle. They're not a Walmart staff. They just sell their items with Walmart.com. That's the seller's username from Walmart.com. Selling me this bicycle here. And no, it did not come with that little switch on the fork. I had to pay a separate one, and Walmart only gave me 20% of my refund. I call this false advertising because it doesn't show the full things on the fork itself. It just shows this fucking thing right here. Flat. No switches at all. It's fucking ridiculous. Eventually, when a, an unknown buyer buys something from Walmart's website here and they're more richer than I am they're going to sue their asses for false advertising and that's what's going to happen I shouldn't have to put up with that shit but anyway I would show you this picture but it shows my email address and I can't show you that I had to change my email address and I contacted the seller that sold me this bicycle and he's like ignoring me or something and acts like I don't exist I contacted him five to six times already no response. Walmart con contacted his ass about four or five times. No response. He never gotten back to me. Uh, he did get back to Walmart one time. And he told the staff that, uh, uh, that I got to show him pictures of proof, which I did. This picture here. And he, uh, when I showed him this picture here, I sent him emails about it. Four or five emails. And he still didn't get back to me at all. So I had to go to Walmart, and they only gave me a 20% a refund. And it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have to put up with that shit. But anyway, I call this false advertising. They should never sell anything on Walmart.com that doesn't show the picture fully of the real bicycle you get in the mail. And it's fucking ridiculous. That's false advertising, and they can get in trouble for that bullshit. I just wish I could get a lawyer where I don't have to pay any pay them any money until I win in court because it's still false advertising and Walmart can still get in trouble. But anyway, that's the way that, that is. And it's fucking ridiculous. So...